Welcome to ASQ TV. Each December, ASQ's flagship magazine, Quality Progress, publishes its annual salary survey. In this episode, we'll take a deep dive into the report. We'll check where the average salary for quality professionals came in this year, show how achieving quality-related certifications strongly influences salaries, and highlight other parts of the report. For 30 years now, Quality Progress has published its annual salary survey report, the most comprehensive look at salaries in the quality community. Not only does a survey take a yearly pulse of salaries in the quality profession, it also gives readers insights on how to advance their careers. And despite reasonably good economic growth this year in the United States, where most of QP's salary survey respondents live and work, average salaries in the United States have shown only modest growth from last year to this year. The average salary for all U.S. full-time respondents rose by a mere $780 from $90,878 in 2015 to $91,659 in 2016, an increase of less than 1%. Certainly no reason for excessive celebration, but the average isn't a step backward, as we've seen happen to the profession in 2012 and as recent as 2014. So could things be worse? Yes, and the overall trend since 2004, when the average salary for a U.S. full-time quality professional was $69,704, definitely continues to climb upward. Of course, this is something we'll continue to watch. For more general observations from the survey data, read the article Follow the Signs, as well as Section 1 of the Salary Survey Report at the link above. If quality professionals don't have at least one certification, they should give it some serious thought. Not only can securing certifications help improve your job performance, they can also demonstrate a commitment to your profession and prove you've mastered certain skills. In terms of money, having one or more certifications usually means you're going to be paid more too. Holding a single ASQ certification increases the average full-timer's annual salary from $87,942 to $91,800. In fact, any number of certifications can bring in even more money, according to data from this year's QP salary survey. Drilling a bit deeper, data shows that holding certifications provides the most benefit when the certifications are closely aligned with the work the professional actually does. For instance, 10.8% extra pay is drawn by U.S. professionals with the job title of auditor, who are also ASQ certified quality auditors. A U.S. professional with the title of manager, who's also an ASQ certified manager of quality organizational excellence, will bring in an extra 9.4% in pay. Hopefully these numbers help you decide what certifications you might want to pursue if you're looking to boost your earnings. For more on how attaining certifications can affect salaries, see Section 2 of the Salary Survey Report, which can be found at the link above. We've just scratched the surface on all that's included in the 30th Annual QP Salary Survey Report. There are 26 sections in total, breaking down salaries by factors such as job title, training, education, experience, and geography. Specific sections are dedicated to consultants as well as China, India, Mexico, and other areas around the world. There's also a special section on quality culture and employee satisfaction. Visit the Salary Survey webpage at the link above and you'll also find links to more career-related resources, including an archive of past reports, an online salary calculator, and much more. Of course, we'll see you next time when we talk about the Hidden Factory. I sure hope we can find it.